here in Lamar, California at the Tachi Palace Hotel and Casino. Bellator Fighting Championships on MTV2 now moves to fight number three in the quarterfinals of the welterweight tournament. Three five-minute rounds brought to you by Everlast. Greatness is within. And now introducing first the red corner at five foot nine, weighing in at 170 and three quarter pounds with a professional record of 19 wins, four losses and two no contests from Indianapolis, Indiana. Introducing Anthony, the recipe, Lapsley. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the blue corner at six foot even, weighing in the same at 170 and three quarter pounds. His professional record also at 19 and four from Las Vegas, Nevada, presenting Jay, the thoroughbred hurrah! And the referee for this contest, Josh Rosenthal. Brent Weedman and Rick Hahn are already through to the semifinals. The winner of this third welterweight tournament quarterfinal joins those two in the last four. Anthony Lapsley in the black and red trunks. Jay Haran in the ready? white trunks. Josh ready? Rosenthal is the referee. The bell in round number one. Our Bellator fight clock is presented by PSP. Step your game up. PSP now just 129. Now, Sean, you and I were cage side when Jay Haran knocked out Jason High. He has KO power, but going for the guillotine. He has very powerful hands. Lapsley, though, on top. That fight affliction, too, in Anaheim, California. Jason High, fellow Kansas Cityan, is a very talented fighter. And Haran just looked dominant that night. That's a good knee from Lapsley. Haran driving forward. Jimmy, you mentioned top wrestler, wrestled collegiately at Hofstra at the NCAA Division I level. Lapsley, a good wrestling background. He was a former Indiana State High School wrestling champion. Haran getting the better of that, however. Pushing now, looks like he's going for the Darce choke. If he can get that head down. Lapsley trying to slip out. Possible neck crank from here. Lapsley can come out, he can take the back, but he's got to get that right arm free. That's not an easy thing to do. Lapsley trying to posture, trying to sit through. Meanwhile, Haran continuing to throw the right hands to the body. Now for Haran, this is a big opportunity. He's fought everywhere, but never had really a promotional home. Really wants to make his mark here in Bellator, really wants to wear the championship belt around his waist. Haran, the final IFL welterweight champion, says that he loves the Bellator format, says no politics, which he believes he's encountered in his career. Well, it's a head coming down, Jay. a straight road to Ben Askren and then winning this Bellator 170-pound world title. Long way to go, though. Three fights to win this tournament, then you have to defeat the champion Askren. But this, a strong debut right now, early going round number one for Jay Haran. Bit of one-way traffic at the moment, Lapsley forced to play all defense right now. Well, he has good balance, good top control, very strong hips. Now going for the back. He's got both hooks in. Both hooks in and looking for the rear naked choke. Lapsley kept clever, slipping out. Now in full mount, which ain't a whole lot better. Looks like corner telling him to sit up, Jimmy. Briefly went for the arm triangle. Now, Huron walking his legs up, trying to get those knees underneath the armpits of Lapsley. That's the best position for ground and pound. Huron continuing the to throw. Has top position. Warning from referee Josh Rosenthal to Huron. See Huron pointing, pointing saying, look, I'm, I'm hitting him in the ear. Rosenthal saying, watch the punches to the back of the head. You literally split the head down the ears. Anything towards the face from the ears is a legal punch in MMA. Behind that, that's an illegal punch. There's a fine line, obviously. And Haran just has relentless pressure here. He's been in dominant position pretty much from the start of the fight. Lapsley says, I have a lot of faith in my submission game, my ability to scramble, but he hasn't been able to get Haran off him. Now looking for the rear naked. Haran looking to finish in round number one with the rear naked. Choke. That is tight. Uh, fits under the neck. This is about to be finished, but I can't really see from this vantage point how deep it is. Lapsley still turning, still moving, posturing on his hip. Well, Haran don't doesn't have both hooks in. He can't really flatten Lapsley out, but might be deep enough, deep enough already. Can't really tell. Man, Haran is strong. Break, 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 break. I think that's it. 
Is that a technical submission call by referee Josh Rosenthal? I believe that it is. The referee said break. The referee said break. That is it. That is the end of the fight. Lapsley is furious. Josh Rosenthal has called a technical submission, giving the victory to Che Huron in round number one. That looked very surprising. He wasn't limp. He didn't look out. We certainly didn't see a tap, but the referee disagreed. He stopped the fight. Interesting to hear what it might have been. I think he thought he was out, but he was not. 20 professional wins now for Jay Heron. Eight in a row and success in his Bellator debut. Controversy, but success. Well, he was, he was doing what he was supposed to do. He had great positioning, great control, going for the submission. He didn't stop the fight. So Jay Heron looked, looked very impressive up until that point. Can't take anything away from him or his performance. Three minutes, 39 seconds, round number one, the time of the technical submission. And Jay Haran, you can see the talent. They call him the thoroughbred for the reason, for a reason. Listen to the call of referee Josh Rosenthal. Uh, Lashley's eyes were wide open. It looked like looks like he was still okay. Referee said break. I saw a little bit of movement. I think he pulled up Lashley's left arm, and Lashley didn't respond, so he stopped the fight. When we come back, Jimmy Smith will speak to the victor Jay Heron. He will also speak to the referee Josh Rosenthal. Heron defeats Anthony Lashley. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time, three minutes, 39 seconds into round number one by technical submission. The winner advancing to the semifinal round of the welterweight tournament, Jay the Thoroughbred Haran. Real quickly, just one question for you, Josh Rosenthal, the referee. What was the reason for that stoppage for the fans that didn't see it? Well, when the fighter's base slips out from underneath him, it usually signals that they're losing consciousness. So his base slipped out from underneath him, checked his wrist, he gave me nothing, no resistance, which basically is telling me that he's out. Now, thanks a lot, Ref. Appreciate it. I'm here with your winner, Jay Haran. Obviously a controversial end, but you were dominating that fight from start to finish. How did you feel about your performance? I'm back. You know, I don't know what happened with the stoppage. It would have happened eventually, regardless. I'm in tremendous shape. I'm here, I'm ready. Uh, definitely thanks everybody in New York watching me, everybody in Vegas. Everybody that came out to check me out, thank you. Now, the, you've seen Brent Weedman and Rick Hahn advance. What are your thoughts on the competition left in this tournament? It's stacked. Yeah, stacked. I mean, that's the name of the game. I'm a tournament fighter. You got to get in and get out. You know, this guy has eight kids. He was coming to fight. He has to feed his kids. So I took it very seriously. I'm not injured. Go back to the gym. Go to the next round. Jay Haran, your winner. Congratulations. Look Thank forward to seeing you in the next round. Raw State Clothing, Raw State Energy Drink, Everlast, Gamma O, and MTX Audio. Thank you for the support.